I feel like I'm in Back to the Future. Let's go. Out and about on the bicycle today. Always safety first. Yes, gotta have that helmet on. I do have it on. You're just not knowing what you're looking at. There it is. <laughs> yes, it's an airbag helmet. So this Hövding airbag helmet was developed in Sweden by a couple of very clever Swedish women who decided that, hey, why couldn't they wear a helmet and be safe but not have to wear something on their head? So they initially were told, no, you can't do that, that's impossible. Well, now quite a few years later, and this has actually been out for quite some time, so it's not a new product, there it is. So I'm just borrowing this for a couple of days and trying it out to see how it feels. It costs about 300 euros. You can probably price hunt and find it for, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20, 30 euros less than that. So it's certainly not cheap. Um, it's called the Hövding. You can pronounce it however you want. But Hövding. It's a Swedish product. And it actually is a airbag. Right, I'll just deactivate it. So this is not going to be a comprehensive review. I'll just tell you a few thoughts of what I think and give you a look at what it is. So to put it on, quite simple. That goes to the back. Do the zip up. And then the little zipper button clicks in. And that's what actually turns it on. And you ta-da! And then you're ready to ride your bike. And then when you get somewhere, if you pop into a shop or something, you just unclip that and then it's not gonna activate. The power is off, basically. So you need to use a USB cable to charge this up, but that's easy enough to do. You can just unzip the back here like this, and then you can just plug in the USB cable. So all in all, yeah, I kind of like this. I'm not sure if I would buy one, maybe. 300 euros though, that's kind of an expensive toy. But the thing that did capture my attention is that, yeah, you can wear your hat, have your sunglasses on, and there's no kind of straps and things around like this. That's obviously nice. But it also is said to be more protective than a normal helmet. So that's actually the thing that grabs my attention a little bit. You know, in some studies they've said that it's, it's many times more safe than a normal helmet because it actually, when it inflates, it inflates up all the way over here. You can search some other YouTube videos for the name and, you can see it in action when it explodes and, well, explodes, inflates and uh, saves people's heads. But uh, yeah, I, I like it. I like the idea of this being an option. I think there'll be people that if they don't wear a helmet, they won't even want to wear this either. Um, on a day like today where it's been beautiful and sunny, there's a little bit of wind. This actually has kept my neck warm, so it's a bit of a neck warmer. But if it was a really hot, sunny day and I had nothing but t-shirt on, it might get a little bit hot and sweaty. Uh, the other challenge with this is if you ride your bicycle somewhere, you know, I'm used to just kind of locking my helmet to the bike with the chain. I'm not going to do that with this. So you really do need to then take this with you. But perhaps every day to and from work, um, maybe this is the go. Maybe that could be a good option. So that was my really kind of quick opinion and thought on this helmet. I'm pretty happy to have been able to try it out. I like it, but maybe I won't be buying one just yet. But if someone wants to give one to me, sure, I'll wear it. But I will be giving this back in a couple of days. So, hey, that's it. There's my first little review for you on the vlog. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. So bye for now.